So I placed an order from the US Postal Service website for stamps and I'm gonna show you because I'm really excited about them all. So I just slit the package open. I haven't even really looked at them yet. I'm gonna slide everything out. Make sure my address isn't on this part. It is, but I'll cover it up. Okay. So, first up, Disney villains. Aren't those adorable? I love them. We have the, the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, the Queen. We've got Honest John from Pinocchio, Lady Tremaine from Cinderella. Then we've got Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, Captain Hook, Scar, Gaston, Ursula, Cruella de Vil, and Maleficent. I think they're totally cute and adorable. How do I open up this bag to look at them better? Without the shininess. Look at them, aren't they just gorgeous? I'm so excited about them. Disney villains. <laughs> then I got some colorful celebration ones. I should have two of these. Yep. Like I should have two because that was what my order said too. I think I only had one Disney villain. Yep. One Disney villains. Why do they make these so hard to open? That's why I cut open the actual bag before I started this because I can never open these things. So colorful celebrations are just the really cool little banners, like um, like Hispanic type banners. They're really pretty. I like them a lot. So, I send a lot of letters, so this is my stock up haul because the post office in town only has the uh, flags and they annoy me because they're boring. Everybody can get flags, but not everybody can get all of these other cute ones. Okay, then there is Okay. Ooh. Oops, I want to make sure I get them all together. Then we have three that are the same, or they should be, National Parks. So let me open it up and I can show you one of them. So let's see what we have. Start up here, we've got Glacier Bay National Park. We've got uh, Mount Rainier. Marsh Billings Rockefeller Center? No, something or other. That's what it says on it. And then Acadia, Assateague Island, Kenworth Park, uh, Teddy Roosevelt Park, Everglades, oh, Gulf Islands. This one is Carlsbad Caverns, Yellowstone, Halakalaka, something, something state park. Halakalaka. I don't know. And then we've got Bandelier. Arches, San Francisco Maritime, Grand Canyon, and back up to Glacier Bay. So I got myself three of them. Hey, Midnight, off of them. Because my family loves the national parks, and I knew I would use the stamps because they're just adorable. You don't, it's not very often that you get such adorable stamps. And all of the um, Forever stamps are the same price. It doesn't matter if you get the pretty looking ones or not. They're still the same price, so. Okay, let's see. This one is Andy Wind. I looked at them and they looked really cute, so I just got one of them because I'm not really sure. I think he's he was like an artist, but he did stamps. They did stamps out of some of his artwork, and I really liked it, so. I got some of them. I figured they'd look beautiful on some of my stuff. So they're pretty. So they're on the pile now. <laughs> I got the pile going. Um, because they still had these ones, I ordered them. They're my Christmas ones that I'm going to use to send Christmas cards. I already had some, but I needed to get a few more. And I didn't know if they were going to come out with new ones, different Christmas ones. But I really like the Nativity Christmas ones. They're my favorite Christmas stamps. So I got a bunch more of them so that I can send more stamps or more Christmas cards because like I said, these are my favorite nativity ones, that the favorite Christmas ones they've had in a long time. So I wanted to make sure I got some before they came out with new ones. So. It's that. And then um, these ones are just, I got some postcard stamps. 
because I have some postcards and it's easier to send them out with postcard stamps because they cost less than regular stamps. Okay, sorry the doorbell rang, but as I said, the seashell stamps because postcards cost less. So I, some, I've used the forever stamps before, but they're the 49 cent ones. The, um, these ones are only less. I don't remember what they are exactly, but they're less. And then for the last two packs that I got, they're the same. And they're forever stamps, just the 49 cent ones. And I got the patriotic spirals. So they're pretty, they're, I think they're prettier than the flags. But like I said, the flags are the only ones they have in town here. So I, get, I got these ones. Hmm, these ones have less, oh, they only have 10 on a page instead of the 20. That would be why I was like confused. So there's none on the backs of these. They're just stamps on the one side. And they're beautiful. So I've got, let's see, let's go over this then. I've got my patriotic spirals, which are regular stamps. I've got my postcard stamps, which are seashells. Then I got some of the colorful celebrations, they call it, that are really pretty. And then I've got a bunch of Christmas stamps for my Christmas cards. I got some of these artist Andy Andrew Winneth ones because they I thought they were pretty. Then I got three of the national parks because these ones they never have them in stock here at our post office, but I think they're the most beautiful stamps ever. So I got a bunch of them because they're so pretty. Those are the national parks. And then I've got Disney villains because I couldn't resist getting Disney villains when I saw them. So I hope you liked this video. If you want more kind of like this, let me know, give me a thumbs up, and see you next time.